Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So there are people out there that genuinely believe that uh, John Hutchson didn't do what he said he did, or rather what he showed on video that he was doing. Uh, but certainly many um, very serious organisations around the world did believe in what he was doing. And uh, one of those uh, people that have certainly a believer now, uh, possibly because he is working with other people that uh, knows that it happened, um, is Montgomery Childs of the, the Sapphire Project. And uh, there's with good reason. Um, but, um, you know, perhaps the, uh, the incredible um, strange radiation track hit, or rather the hit that um, uh, allowed me to... Uh, uh, derive the the structure of strange radiation, uh, at least in in my understanding. Um, uh, if if that isn't enough to uh, convince you, um, because you say, well, it's just a piece of aluminium that he made, blah blah blah. Um, I want to refer you to this, uh, and this is uh, what I call ball burn, and uh, it's got uh, evidence of. Um, uh, plasma balls, like uh, ball lightning uh, effects on it, uh, and I've shared a, a wide array of pictures and video of this. This is from 1986. It was, I think, during his uh, uh, Canada uh, period uh, with his lab there. And uh, what I want to say right now is uh, that I think what I'm going to show you next um, is extremely difficult to... Um, come to terms with if you don't actually believe John Hutchison did what uh, he obviously did. Um, because uh, there's one thing to say, a piece of uh, physical evidence uh, in the case of this um, fracture sample here that had the Evo strike on it, to say that, you know, somehow he fashioned this through conventional means. Now, I've given this to a lot of people who really know their metallurgy, and uh, they don't have a clue how it's made. Uh, with uh, no surprise there. But um, if you're still sitting on the fence, I hope what I'm about to show you will uh, enable you to uh, start taking uh, his work seriously, uh, as many, many serious people have done in the past. And what I'm going to use to do that is this um, sequence of uh, uh, sunspot formation uh, on the sun. It's readily available. If you go and search uh, sunspots, as I did a couple of years ago, I found this. Again, thank you to Sho for reminding me about it. Um, but he, he wasn't aware about what I'm about to tell you now. But so um, this, 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 this one is for him. But, um, uh, you know, this cannot be a coincidence. So sunspots can be uh, very many times the diameter of the Earth or, you know, they can span over incredible uh, diameters. Uh, you have to remember, I think it is 99.8% of the mass of our solar system is in the sun and almost none of it, uh, the rest of it, is in our Earth <laughs> because we have other very large planets. So um, uh, these sunspots are absolutely phenomenally big and I'm just going to show you this sequence which, you, as I say, you can get anywhere on the web where, you know, it's talking about sunspots. And I'm just going to let this sequence run. And I will include this video at the end of uh, the video. So there you go. There is the end frame of this sequence. And essentially, what you're looking at is the mirror image of this. I'm going to go in for a close-up. So here we go. Uh, this is a video that I shared many days ago. Uh, I think beginning of 2018. And there is your structure, and if you look at it here, I'm, it is what it is, it is what's on there, you know. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to bring in the slightly color adjusted uh, end frame that you just saw. And uh, you will see that you have a spot here that's been swirling around during its formation. You have two spots here with a stretched bit in between. Uh, and you have the big spot up here. It's exactly the same orientations as you're getting in the structure on the, what I've always called the ball burn, um, because it was burned by plasma uh, in, in kind of like a ball lightning fashion. And 
what I'm trying to say here is that uh, John Hutchison is doing exactly the same thing as Lena. Lena is what the sun is doing. We need to come to terms with this. This is what the sun is doing. It's doing the same thing that John Hutchinson was doing. And uh, as I've showed you uh, with the previous video, uh, also the lion, also the echo. And uh, I can show you other examples. But anyway, the uh, exotic vacuum objects like to form very specific structures. There is laws governing what they do. This is something that Ken Shoulders was saying. Hopefully this is starting to be sufficient evidence for you to realize, yes, there are laws that govern what uh, they can do and how they can cluster. And so um, uh, we are able to create in a very wide range of uh, ways, uh, a, a very wide range of ways, uh, the exact type of processes that are going on in the sun. And uh, it's just an absolute pleasure to be able to share these things with you. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I'd seriously encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you haven't got 4K Downloader and are downloading the videos from our channel, I suggest you do that because, you know, just best, best to be sure. Um, uh, it's going to go very it's going to get very interesting uh, uh, in in the next couple of days and weeks and uh, I think you'll want to stick around so um, uh, what I am saying is John Hutchison absolutely 100% was doing Lena it is ball lightning ball lightning is a physical real phenomena it goes on on earth and it goes on in the sun and it's all the same thing it makes matter. It does a lot more than that. It transmutes matter, does all kinds of things. Anyway, thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video.